ApeCoin. Is it overhyped? Is it legit? Is it a scam? Today, a part of our KuCoin DigiDive altcoin series, we are going to be going over ApeCoin. If you want to trade Ape or Ape into Ape, it's available on KuCoin. You can click the link in the description below and you'll get 20% off your trading fees. What should we know about this? Well, first guys, you need to know where this token initially started. And to know where it initially started, you need to know two of the main communities. This is Bored Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape Yacht Club. Who are these guys? What the snap are they? Why do I have to know about them? Well, let's go ahead and get into the website of it and a little bit into the story. If you guys go onto their ApeCoin page, this was their claim page, as you can see right here. In order to claim the airdrop, yes, 15% of the Ape token supply was given out for free, like for free to these Ape NFT holders. So 150 million tokens in total. There's 1 billion total tokens in supply, but again, 15% of this supply was given to Bored Ape and Mutant Ape Yacht Club NFT holders. Each of the Bored Apes got over 10 million tokens. The Mutant Apes got over 2 million tokens. The Bored Ape and the Kennel Clubs, they got over 10 million tokens. And the Mutant Ape plus Kennel Club got over 2.8 million tokens. You guys can see all that here if you guys want to pause the screen. Now, what is this ape coin? Like, what do you use this thing for? I mean, like, what the snap? Well, as you can see here, ape coin is for the Web3 economy, like they're saying here. But come on, like, who even reads all this jibber jabber? Give me some bullet points. Well, here's your bullet points. You use it for governance, used as a spending token. It's used for access to the ape token ecosystem, and it's used for incentivizing. What do each of these mean? Well, incentivization would mean, hey, bro, come build on ApeCoin or hey, bro, come over here, develop projects with our community and we'll give you some ApeCoins. That is incentivization. Access, well, dude, you can't come to this party or you can't come to this event or you can't be a part of this uh, NFT club or you can't be a part of this uh, virtual game if you don't hold the ape coin. So it's like a access, it's an access ticket and it allows you to get into uh, different things. You can kind of look at it like VIP. You can go to a regular football game with just like a regular ticket and like sit at the top of the stadium, bring binoculars or binoculars, whatever you want to call them, and just try to see who's throwing the ball or playing. Or you can get the VIP tickets or front row seats and dude, you're stinking like, right at the front row and you're like whoa dude i can see that man sweating it's awesome so another use case for the ape coin it's basically just like your currency that you use to buy anything almost like a bitcoin and then lastly is governance like what the snap governance what am i governing over well you're governing over the ape dow now what is the ape dow well in my opinion i look at ape dow like a smorgasbord of the top communities and top team developers all in one let me just give you a few of them. You got Alexis Ohanian. Guys, this guy was the co-founder of Reddit, as well as one of the founders of a major VC fund. Then you got Amy Wu. Dude, she is like the head sauce over at FTX Ventures in the gaming division. Then you got dude, one of the dream team members. This is Yatsu. This guy, he is the sauce. This guy is behind Animoca Brands and some of the big games that he developed was, well, this is one of the first DAOs, um, but he also created Sandbox. You, you know, like that big one that you guys are like, whoa, the Sandbox, like the Sand Token, you know, the one that did like a thousand X. And then also behind Formula One Racing, which is the Rev Token. These are just a few of the uh, projects he developed. This guy is a really, really smart guy and is very well versed in building good games and tokenomics. I highly recommend you listen to several of his interviews to get an understanding and a grasp of the knowledge this guy has. And then you have Dan Cybeck. This guy is also a VC over at Horizon Labs. So these are just kind of like a couple of the Dream Team members so you guys can understand what they put together. Now here's also a couple of other entities that are behind the ApeCoin. You got Yuga Labs. These guys were the main company developing Ape Yacht Club. And then you also, of course, have Board Ape Yacht Club, Ape Foundation, and the ApeCoin DAO. Now, in order to be um, a part of this, you do have to hold the ape coin. And as I mentioned to you, it has the four utilities, which is incentivization, used as a money, governance, 
and access to different things. So it could just be exclusive access to even live events like in the real world or it can be digital events. Now, before I get into my closing thoughts, I want to show you guys the token distribution. As you guys can see here, 62% were given out as the ecosystem fund. Of that 62%, about 24% were airdrop. So right now they have about 48% of the tokens to play around with. So they still have a little bit of wiggle room on that. And then you can see Yuga Labs and Charity, they got about 16%. The launch con contributors, they got about 14 And the Board Ape Yacht Club founders got 8%. My closing thoughts on this protocol in general, I mean, when it comes to NFTs and projects, just period across the board, especially in cryptocurrency, it's best to invest in people and strong communities. Like, of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I've known that investing in people and strong communities are your best way to go. The reason being is, well, if your community is just in it for the money, well, I mean, dude, what's going to happen to your community when all the money is gone? in a bear market like nobody is there anymore because if your community was there single reason of making money and if everyone's losing money no one wants to be there and the eight community has a robust team as i showed you guys has a large community with ambitious goals to be like the rolex of the nft community as always time will tell to see if they can weather the storm this is not saying they will do extremely well this is not saying they will do extremely bad this is just a unbiased view on the ape token and what they're doing so you guys can have a general understanding on the ape coin token. If you guys are interested in finding out more about other altcoins and other KuCoin videos, make sure you guys check out the DigiDive section. You guys can see the previous video I did on Lumerin. You can also check out the KuCoin channel to check out other altcoins that were featured on the channel. And if you guys are ready to start trading, we'll sign up for KuCoin and get 20% off your trading fees in the link in the description below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.